You know, as good a player as he is, he's even a better leader on our football team. Our huddle is different when Garrett Wolf's in that huddle, certainly because we know he can carry the ball. But the kids have confidence when Garrett Wolf's in there. He's a great leader. He's really come out, like I said, he's probably our number one guy in front of that football team. Coach, you know, Garrett has been so productive for this NIU team the last couple of seasons, but it took him a little while to get onto the field. He struggled a little bit when he first got here at Northern Illinois University, but he's done so well in the last couple of years. And a couple of weeks ago, our inside Husky sports correspondent, Pat Castell, had a chance to visit with Garrett and a few other people that know Garrett very well. And they found out that uh, this young man, who's somewhat small in stature, is very huge in talent. Get to Garrett Wolf. Garrett Wolf turns the corner. Garrett Wolf is gone. Garrett Wolf down the sideline. Garrett Wolf to the end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. He's been often overlooked, but he'll never be forgotten. Garrett Wolf makes us remember week in and week out how special of a running back NIU has. But this is just the current chapter in Garrett's long football career. The one thing that I've learned is that Patience is a virtue, and you just have to keep working hard, and you know everything will work itself out for you. You know ev everything may not be given to you up front, and, and actually, I don't think anything will be given to you. You have to work for it and earn it. Garrett Wolf's storybook football career started here at Holy Cross High School in River Grove, and even though the school has since closed, the memories of Garrett still remain active within the school. There's a lot of things that you can't coach with Garrett. I mean, he had great vision, great instinct. He was a powerful kid. He was very durable. Even watching him play on, at Northern, he doesn't take the big hit. He knows how to avoid the big shot because of his instincts and his vision. And uh, that's what makes him a special running back. Garrett would accumulate over 4,000 yards and set 11 school records at Holy Cross. However, the big college football programs still weren't knocking on his door. But one school stayed with him throughout his entire recruiting process. When we watched Garrett on film, we saw a fast athlete that wasn't very big. And, uh, and he was one of those guys that, that at Northern Illinois, you take a chance on some guys like that, that, that maybe the biggies overlook. But we saw a fast, good athlete that was a good kid and decided to take a chance on him. However, the transition from high school to college wasn't easy. When I first got here in my August camp, I was, was absolutely miserable. I didn't know what was going on on the field. Uh, I was once again homesick, and uh, I just wasn't happy. And I wasn't, you know, taking the necessary steps to learn the offense. And over those two years where I wasn't playing, uh, I learned how to work. I learned to, you know, just pay more attention to detail, and it's paid dividends for me. That Bowling Green game, that, that entire second half was uh, was unbelievable. And it was just like the game was, was coming to me in slow motion. And it was just like, you know, on my way up to the top of a roller coaster and it, and it never declined. It's never went down since then. Since his breakout game against Bowling Green in 2004, Garrett has put up staggering numbers that have placed him not only among the best to come out of NIU, but among college football's elite. So you got to really consider him, you know, one of the best to probably come through the program, um, you know, as far as production and uh, what the program is doing, wins and losses. I've often thought it would be very interesting to put him in Reggie Bush's place last year with USC. In my mind, he would have done everything Reggie Bush did and, and put Reggie Bush here with our line, and he would have probably been very similar to what Garrett Wolf did here. I don't think either one of them would have made a difference on either team because they're both the same kind of player. Despite the lofty accomplishments, Garrett remains grounded and has a great appreciation for the opportunities he's had at NIU. The, the saying is, uh, luck is when success and uh, hard work meet an opportunity. I think I've kind of been lucky. <laughs> for Inside Husky Sports, I'm Pat Gastel.